let's open the Maya file with the mocap animation which we have characterized in the previous video. For looping our animation we will use the time editor in Maya. Select the hip joint and in the time editor click on the plus icon to add the selected animation. Now we need to remove the T-pose we have created previously for characterization. As you can see in the HIK pane it's still characterized. Don't worry about some joints turning yellow in the warning sign. Go to the first keyframe of the clip with actual animation and split it current frame. This can be removed. Now I go with the playhead further in the timeline. Let's say to frame 60. And split the clip. I copy the main animation clip and append it to the end. I want to inspect the transition where the animation is looping. As you can see our actor did a quite good job matching the last and the first pose. There is a slight jump we need to fix. To do so we take the short clip we cut off from the beginning. And drag it over the end of the main animation clip. Now we have a smooth transition. Just for comparison I remove the overlay. And bring it back. The reference clip needs to be removed. Now I can move the main animation clip together with the overlay to the first frame. To apply the changes we made here in the time editor to our joints we need to bake to scene and delete. Now we have a clean looping characterized animation which can be applied to any character. As I mentioned in the previous video doing this directly here could lead to problems. So the animation needs to be saved as a new Maya file. For demonstration I create a new scene and from the HIK pane I import the default human IK example. Now let's import our newly created loop. and apply it to the dummy character. OK, the retargeting works. Now let's open the graph editor to check the transition when looping the clip. Grab the hip joint and select Hierarchy. In the graph editor under the Curves menu select Post Infinity Cycle. Now all animation curves are repeating. When we now go to the end of our keyframes marked in red, we see that the loop is blending smoothly. For fine-tuning the animation later you can use animation layers and apply corrections to individual joints of the mockup skeleton. Thanks for watching.